Emphatic win at Bristol uh, Rovers tonight. Must have been delighted with that. Yeah, no, really, really pleased. And they're a good side. You know, with a double promotion, so they never give up. You know, so it was it was always going to be a, a, a big test for us. But we came through it, and we were very pleased. Yeah. Uh, you had to source of a couple of well, an injury to, to Declan Rudd in particular today. Dylan Phillips steps up, makes his first league appearance. Some very crucial saves uh, at one 0 today. Uh, a big day for him today. Hey, absolutely, I was really pleased for him. He's got a lot of attributes. Um, obviously, Declan Declan's number one goalkeeper for us, and, and 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 he's you know for me he's one of the best in the league, or the best in the league. So he said uh, big shoes to fill today, and he done very well. Not often you see a, a team score five away from home. Your your attacking play must have greatly pleased you today. Absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, the thing, the thing is, there has been games earlier in the season. Port Vale away, we, we that could have been five, and it hasn't happened. And and it's a progression. It's a progression. And today, fortunately, we, we took the chances. A little bit of fortune, a couple of little deflections, but you know, we we certainly deserved it. I felt. What do you think has changed over the course of the season, where perhaps chances were being created but not taken early on in the season? Now, more often than not, they're being taken. It seems. Um, I, you know, you can't put your finger on it. It's, it's just how it is. Sometimes. Some other times we've been really unfortunate. We seem to. Earlier in the season, we, we came up against you know the goalkeepers were man in the matches all the time. So it, it just goes that way. But it, it, it was going to be coming at some stage. Uh, but what we've given them and what we've been trying to do from the start of the season is give them a solid foundation and a solid base. So that when you're not, that's probably why we've had so many draws. When you're not really performing or you're not taking them chances, you're still picking up points, and you, you've got to respect that point the whole time. So they're, they're working from a, from a solid foundation, a solid platform. Um, if your if your caretaker position comes to an end this evening, that's a hundred percent record for you. So I guess you, you've done you've done what, what has been asked of you. Yeah, exactly. Listen, when when you when you and I've done it before. When you're at a football club um, and the manager leaves for whatever reasons and they ask you to step in, you know you, you do it and and you do it to your best of your ability. And, I, and I've done it a few times before, and I, I've, I've, I, hopefully I've done it as if I've, I had the job the job long term I wasn't doing it worried about if I went back into the group and I'd upset a couple of players that's not how to do it so I was doing it for whatever was good at the football club Now the South London Press this evening have reported that Charlton have offered the, the managerial role to Carl Robinson I don't know if you're aware of that or if, if you know Carl but if, if that is the case would you hope him to put yourself forward to be on his coaching team or do you not Yeah well we'll have to wait and see obviously I don't think he's been, I haven't heard anything I've only just heard, you know, obviously his name's been linked with it I know Carl from playing against his sides um, and meeting them after games, etc. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And I guess whoever comes in after a result like that, their, their job will be ever so slightly easier, won't it? Well, as, as, as I said uh, after Saturday's game, the, the job is easier now. Not the easier is the wrong word. I've got this. Easier is the wrong word because it isn't an easy job, but it is a good job. And as I said before, it's better than it was because it's a progression. This is another little stage we're moving on to. So there's a lot of stuff that has gone on in the previous months. So it's it, listen, easy job is certainly not the right word, but it is a good job and someone that uh, it'd be, be very pleased to get. Thank you. Kevin, we spoke after Saturday and you were delighted with the character of the players that they showed after the turmoil that had gone on the week before to come out and, and beat Port Vale 2-0. Uh, you must be uh, delighted and then some with the character of the boys show tonight. Yeah, I, I said to him, you know, when you when you recruit players and, and Russell did the recruiting and when you recruit players and you're in League One and, and I know it well, um, you, you're recruiting characters and, and you're recruiting, I actually use the example today, uh, a Tuesday wet night in Bristol. You know, it could be Berry, it could be anywhere, but you're recruiting carers you know you can rely on week in, week out, and, and, and we got that. And I asked him for, for, a, for a real man's performance tonight, and, and that's what we, what we got. You mentioned before, and it was mentioned before, we had injuries to deal with tonight, but you also made a, a tactical change by the looks of it, where you put Adam Chickson on the, on the left from the start, and at times when we haven't had uh, homes and we haven't looked a bit uh, uh, stretched on, on wide positions, uh, you've tried something different. and. Uh, he got his goal uh, and had a good game as well. He was, he was, you know, he was excellent tonight, and, and and he wasn't even in the 18 on Saturday. And uh, you know, I've just said to him now, I, I never have any favourites. It's like you know, you're in for a reason. Uh, I was really, really pleased for him because he was obviously disappointed not even to make the squad Saturday. But I felt it was the right change. I didn't we didn't have a lot of time to work anything tactically. Uh, the players are getting to know this kind of a shape and a system what we're working towards uh, and it, it was kind of a sort of a straight sort of swap for Jacko really and we didn't have to make any other changes. And you mentioned about uh, partnerships and working together again Nicky Jose and Josh McGuinness up front they seem to be uh, just gelling uh, and finding each other a lot more than, than perhaps they did at the beginning of the season and Nicky Jose as well just uh, looks uh, a more confident player. 
Yeah, well, goal, goals do that for people, and and and, and Nicky, you know, I've been there. You know, if, if you haven't scored and you haven't taken chances, but Nicky, he is scoring goals, and he's really doing his bit for the team as well. So we've got we've got two players that are grafting up front, and and you know they've got to be on their toes because you've got Brandon there as well, looking to take their place. Ow.